Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So uh, today I'm gonna start a, a 747 SP on a scale 144 from Welsh model. I'm not gonna do the South African airline, I'm gonna do uh, Air Mauritius uh, as, a, as a livery. So uh, this is a type of a special model because uh, this is called, a, this is what we call a, a vacuum model. So uh, as you can see, it's uh, a pretty, a pretty interesting uh, kit as uh, the fuselage and all the parts are made out of a uh, vacuum uh, formed uh, plastic uh, form sheet. So uh, I have the main fuselage basically and the wings um, coming from that uh, plastic sheet as you can see and uh, that requires some special attention and some uh, special uh, work. Now, after that, the engines are made out of uh, a full resin. I also have uh, the, wheel, uh, the wheel bay. And the carriage and engines are made out of, um, of uh, resin. Now, here is uh, the livery I'm going to use. It's uh, Air Mauritius from 260 Cal. And uh, it seems to be a, a pretty straight uh, forward uh, sheet. So, Let's start uh, building and see what we can get uh, as a final result on the, this interesting kit. So we are going to start our build by preparing our pieces and for this you need to remove them from the main uh, card. So for that I use an engraving tool and slowly I detach all the parts. As you can see uh, that can take a lot of time and sometimes if you slit you will make some uh, big marks into your parts. So shortly after that, of course, you will have a, a certain thickness and you have to remove that extra thickness that you have on the uh, edge of your parts. So as you can see now, I'm removing uh, the main part all around the fuselage. That part is quite easy. Then you have to uh, use some sandpaper and I use sandpaper and water to sand down all the edges. Uh, and especially the fin and wings and the tail will be the, the hardest part because they have to be very, very thin. But the good side is you are able to get uh, the thickness you want and you can get even some better results than uh, on the plastic mold uh, models. So for the smaller part, I had to use some adhesive tape uh, that I uh, stick on the, on the fins and that helped me basically to get some uh, better grip to be able to sand down uh, my uh, horizontal fin. Now time to prepare uh, our engines and our resin parts. So first I had uh, to use uh, a razor blade uh, saw to be able to remove uh, all uh, the marks and then basically preparing uh, my engines. After that uh, I had to uh, basically finish to prepare the, the parts of the engines. So initially as you can see I had to remove uh, some more uh, remain of resin uh, on the, the core of the engine itself before I was able to uh, assemble the main, uh, the main fan of uh, that engine. now prepare uh, our fuselage so for that I had to remove the, the gear bay doors and uh, that I will be able to put uh, the gear bay uh, inside the models. Uh, shortly after that I will have to uh, prepare the interior of uh, the 747 itself uh, basically as you have uh, nothing into it you had to add some more uh, vertical uh, separation inside the fuselage and for this, which is quite important because that will give some structure and some more uh, strength to the kit itself. So I initially tried everything with uh, some adhesive tape, 
of course. And then once the result was uh, as I was expecting, I finally uh, glue all the parts together. I also did, uh, in the meantime, I prepared uh, the wings, basically uh, gear doors and uh, the wing, uh, the gear bay as well uh, under the wings. Now uh, glue the horizontal stabilizer together, let them dry and add some putty and of course we're gonna start to put as well some putty on the, the engine uh, itself. Then uh, we will remove uh, all, uh, all the asperity and uh, the gaps between everything. So uh, once uh, this is uh, completed we're gonna let it dry and uh, while this is drying now I will uh, finally glue uh, the fuselage together. So before I assemble the fuselage, what I did, I used some plastic cards and uh, some little, I would say, little bits of them, glue them on the side of uh, one part of the half fuselage and that would guide me, uh, that would guide the second part of the fuselage together. And that will add also some trends to the, to the model itself. After uh, assembling our wings and our fuselage, now it's time to add uh, to fill all the gaps with uh, some uh, Tamiya putty. And I normally use uh, that uh, grey Tamiya putty. And then uh, on the second layer, I normally use a different color, which will help me to see the difference between the gaps and uh, what is remaining. And of course, after that, a long, uh, consuming time of uh, sanding down uh, all that putty. So after that I decided to add some uh, more details, so uh, what I did, I worked a little bit harder on the, the uh, APU exhaust, so for that I had uh, to use some uh, driller and I drilled basically the APU exhaust and uh, so I had to use a big driller then after that I had to uh, use a file to get to the proper uh, shape. Uh, after that, as you can see on some other photo, I used some pictures and uh, I tried to, to add that little uh, tab basically on the, on the exhaust of the APU and I uh, found some uh, various pictures uh, who gave me some more details. You can find that easily on the internet. So after that, I tried to shape it at the correct uh, size basically and uh, once it was done, I was able to uh, use other pictures to get it at the proper dimension.
while our uh, fuselage is now uh, drying, uh, I will uh, finish to uh, sand down all the remain uh, of the putty on the, the engines, basically. And uh, after that, uh, I will uh, continue and uh, assemble the wings to the main body fuselage. So while we are uh, gluing the horizontal stab uh, to the body, we will use some adhesive tape to uh, use it and to uh, put it at the proper dihedra uh, on the aircraft. On this part, I decided to add some uh, nav light to the aircraft. So for this, I use some uh, clear part uh, coming uh, just basically on the sprue. And I cut uh, the little uh, entry for uh, that on the wing, then add and glue the part, the clear part on it. And now I let it dry and I'm gonna sand it down. So for this I use a file of course to sand it down at the correct shape, as uh, there was no part uh, was uh, expected to be like this. And I use uh, then sanding paper, of course, and uh, I use uh, of course a thinner one up to uh, a 2000 grit. Then what I use, I use a polish putty from Tamiya to finish it up and give a clear finish to my nav light. So it's now time uh, to start uh, the paint uh, of the aircraft and for this I will start with the corregar which is the upper surface of the wing and for this I use a mix of uh, grey paint from Tamiya and some uh, metallic that are uh, together and that gives me basically that uh, upper darker part on the wing. Then I use uh, a mix of white and light grey to get the proper grey finish uh, for the aircraft. And uh, that aircraft had basically the wings in grey and uh, the horizontal stabilizer as well as long as the belly. And uh, once the belly was done, then I had to add some uh, metallic paint on the, the lower surface of the fuselage. While the paint was uh, drying, I decided to uh, start preparing uh, the part for the undercarriage. So initially you had to remove uh, all the uh, extra uh, plastic or resin around the undercarriage. So what happened on the, my undercarriage, I realized that there was uh, a misshape and basically there was no parallel or no parallax on the, on the gear itself, on the wheels. So what I had to do is I redrill basically the holder for the wheels uh, on the, all uh, the undercarriage. And uh, once I had the proper fit, I used some uh, plastic uh, lines or plastic cables that I usually use for landing lights or uh, extra detailing. And I glued them on the, the uh, undercarriage itself. So after that, I had the, the proper lens and I was able to have uh, a proper undercarriage. Now we will work on the nose uh, gear and what I had initially I had some uh, I had to reshape basically the nose gear as uh, I didn't have the proper uh, the proper fit for the other carriage. So what I did is I cut the the landing gear at the base of the strut. I use again some plastic lines and uh, I will uh, add that get the proper dimension of course and uh, use that and uh, reglue it and rebuild it on the, on, the, on the with some plastic cards.
After that, what I did is I uh, punched some holes, basically using some driller again, uh, on the scissor of uh, that uh, landing gear. Uh, for this, to have the proper shape, I used some uh, pictures of uh, a 747 on the carriage, and I would give that was giving me the possibility to see basically uh, what proper uh, diameter I had to use for my uh, driller. Now it's time to put uh, a coat of white paint uh, on the aircraft. So for that, I use some uh, Tamiya White. X2 is uh, the paint I normally use for my uh, fuselage and my white paint with Tamiya. add more details on our uh, aircraft so for this I use some uh, clear uh, varnished for the landing lights and then after that I use some uh, lead wire to uh, replicate basically the hydraulic lines and the brake lines uh, on the on the landing gear Once uh, the assembly was uh, finished, I used some uh, palen light uh, accent uh, on dark colors from Damia to add some weathering and uh, some more realistic to uh, our undercarriage. Then of course I had to glue the undercarriage on the aircraft and uh, it was a little bit of a struggle I have to say and uh, it didn't went as expected. I had to do a little bit of uh, rework and uh, the main basically landing gear under the fuselage were not at the proper uh, dimension so I had to re-add some plastic cards to get it at the, at the proper. After that the plane was uh, almost ready so it was time to add the decals so for that I used those two six decals just soaked in the water and uh, time to time I had to use uh, some uh, decal softener for uh, some uh, different edges. Now the decals are finished, it's time to finish the lot uh, paint touch-up on the aircraft. So uh, APU exhaust and uh, the uh, engine cones and of course uh, the fan uh, cone as well. You can now uh, enjoy the final result of that uh, Air Mauritius 747SP built on a 144 scale from the Welsh model. It was a quite long build but very enjoyable and I was quite satisfied with the uh, end result. 
So you can, if you like that video, you can give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet. And I will see you soon for uh, another build. Thank you for watching and see you on the next build.